guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Makes Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're on our third movie of 2023, and I'm reviewing it straight away. I know, shocker. And I've kept this going for three reviews, so let's see how long I can keep this going. I promise I'm going to keep it going as long as possible. <laughs> uh, but anyway, today I'm reviewing Megan, the film about me. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's named after me, which is a little bit scary, but we'll go with it. Don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so let's get into the review. So just to give you a very quick plot summary, uh, we follow this little girl called Katie and basically her mum and dad recently passed away in a car accident on the way to a ski trip. Um, so she gets taken care of by her Aunt Gemma. Now Aunt Gemma is this techie person who works for a company that creates these AI little pet things, kind of like... Um, Kind of like little gizmos, in a sense. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Furbies? Furbies. Kind of like Furbies. Um, and basically, in the background of working on those, she's also been working on this AI teenage girl doll called Megan. And it's supposed to be that Megan's supposed to become that friend that ch the child goes to, that connects with, and that protects her, teaches her things, helps her cope with anything, and listens to her, and... Um, so, of course, as we know, with AI, things start to go a little bit wrong. And I'm not going to say any more than that because I do like to try and keep this as spoiler-free as possible for you guys. And, of course, if you have seen the trailer, you know what's going to happen anyway, roughly. Um, but, yeah, so what are my thoughts on Megan? I actually quite enjoyed this. And I'm a little bit gutted this wasn't my first cinema trip. I really wanted it to be my first, but obviously that didn't happen. But um, I will start with my only gripe with the film, and that is, and that is, is that it's a little bit slow at the beginning. I know they have to establish the characters and establish what Megan is and things like that, but it just felt they took a little bit of time on it compared to what most horror films would have done. Um, but aside from that, once Megan, once you see the hints that Megan's starting to change that's when it starts to pick up and I think they do perfectly well from on there on because I think that's such a fun way of doing it and I think Megan is both adorable and creepy at the same time kind of like Chucky <laughs> I know a lot of people are comparing Chucky and Megan and is it weird that I kind of want to have a Freddy versus Jason thing where it's Megan versus Chucky I'd love to see how that would work out, especially since Megan is more AI than what Chucky is. And I want it to be the original Chucky, not the remake Chucky. Um, but no, Megan, she starts off so adorable and you do like this doll. In fact, when she first started out, I was like, that would have been an adorable doll to give to someone. Um, but then, of course, she starts going wrong and then she gets really creepy and especially near the end. And I'm just like, I'm. I was creeped out more by Smile, which I did watch this week, which you'll see my thoughts of at the end of the week. Um, but Megan does come close. Like, she does creep me out. In fact, I think she creeps me out a little bit more than Chucky does. And Megan's more polite. <laughs> um, but I think all the other characters as well, they were fun. Uh, you don't get to see much of the side characters, so like her assistant and the boss and things like that. Um, but... Gemma and Katie, I think they were quite a good sister duo, of especially near the end of the film as well. And I do like how they also showed how not only Megan changed, but also Katie changed. Because obviously with the interaction with Megan, she's going to learn things. And I think I like how they sort of like 50 50 would it. So it's sort of like you got to see what happened. Um... The effects on this were really good. I really enjoyed the effects. I heard there's going to be a Megan 2. I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like this was been a this would have been a perfect one-off. I know they left it on a cliffhanger, um, but I think it would have been a nice little one-off unless you're going to do a spin-off or something. So I'd love to know how they're going to continue with that, if they're going to continue with the characters from this one or... If they're going to do new characters, I would like to see what would happen. But at the same time, I do feel like this would be a 
good standalone film. Um, but no, this was really enjoyable. I'm glad I got to see it on the big screen. I certainly recommend you do watch it on the big screen. Uh, okay, and I certainly do recommend you watch it on the big screen because it's fun just seeing that doll go crazy and especially seeing that dance scene that we've all seen in the trailers. <laughs> seeing that on the big screen i i cracked up a little bit i was just like okay and then she got creepy and then i was like no way thank you keep away <laughs> um but no megan is certainly i wish i really wish it was my first cinema trip of 2023 but i did make it my second so yeah i'm really glad i got to see this now what would my score be it i think i'm still I'm teetering. I'm very much like, I want to give it an eight because I feel like it's worth an eight. But then also because of how I feel about the beginning where it's a little bit slow, I want to give it a 7.5. So at the moment on my letterbox, it's 7.5. But don't, don't think it's random if it suddenly changes in rankings on my letterbox or if I change my thoughts, if I watch it again, things like that. So just keep an eye on that throughout the rest of the year because that may or may not change. But Okay, so that is my thoughts on Megan. I actually quite enjoyed this. A little bit slow pacing at the beginning, but still really enjoyed this. So I really hope you enjoyed this review of Megan. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your comments and thoughts on Megan. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Have you seen it on the big screen? If you haven't, I seriously recommend you do. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys in my next one.